Hey there, this is Akshin Madan and welcome back to a new video. In the previous parts, we have covered container 1 and container 2 for both mobile and web. And from these parts, from this part, I'm going to show you how you can code uh, this container that is third container, fourth container and fifth container. Because you can see that all these three containers are kind of same. Just the alignment of image and text is changing in the second part, right? So I'm going to show you how you can create a single widget for all these three uh, containers and we are going to pass some parameter that is this text, this image and whether the image is on the left side or on the right side and we are going to use that same widget, same class for both these three, for all these three containers, right? So let me just get back to my VS code and in the widgets, I'm going to create one uh, file that is common containers, right? So it is already created by me. So I'm going to delete it because we are going to code everything from the scratch, right? So I've created one file as common container and now I'm going to uh, show you uh, how to code it, right? So let's create one widget. So this is widget common uh, container and let me import material.dart. So I'm going to import material.dart and this common container is going to take some parameters. First is string. So it is going to take three strings. So S1, S2 and S3. So why three strings? Because you, you can see that there are having three strings. One first uh, small heading, then main heading, then description, right? So three text it is having. So S1, S2, S3, then it is going to take the image. Uh, so it will be image and the next thing will be Boolean. So why Boolean? Because I want to check that whether the image is on the left hand side or it is on the right hand side. So image left, it will be true or false, right? So I'm going to return, I'm going to return one container, container and this container will have color background color will be white so colors dot white and after that i'm going to have some padding so padding will be edge insets dot symmetric and from symmetric it will take horizontal and for a uh, responsive uh, feature i will uh, have horizontal padding with respect to width so w uh, so let me just import w so w by 10 and in the vertical direction we can have any static value uh, so it will be 30 because height of the uh, height of the uh, window is not going to change so vertical will be 30 and then after that uh, i'll have a child to this container which will be a row because you can see that everything is inside a row right this is complete row right so row and it is going to have some children so first of all, I'm going to check whether my image is on the left. So if my image is on the left, then I'm going to return image first. So it will be an expanded so that it can take half of the mobile, uh, half of the screen and it will have a container and it will have a height. So it will have a height of 530. So I'm taking the same height as you can see in the design. So height is 530. Then it will be a decoration. Then it will be a box decoration, uh, box decoration and it will have the image or you can say that decoration image decoration image and inside this image i'm going to pass the image right so it will take the image which we have taken from the parameter and then i'm going to uh, pass on fit so it should be inside here and image should be uh, inside asset image not just a static string right so it will be asset image. Yes. And fit will be box fit dot contain so that the complete vector should be visible. So box fit dot contain. So yeah, everything is good. And if my image left is not true, so I'm going to pass So after this container, I'm going to pass a simple empty container. Perfect. Perfect. Right. So yeah, everything looks good. Let me just save it. And let me just, yeah, uh, this is all good. So after this, uh, I'm going to have another expanded. So after this container, I'm going to have one expanded, which will be for the text part. So expanded and the child will be a column because you know that all these three texts are in the vertical direction along the vertical axis. So it will be column and the cross axis alignment should be start because they all were left aligned. And yes, uh, here also one condition will come because you can see that if my image is on the right, then all these three texts are on the uh, left aligned 
and if my okay here also left aligned but this was not looking good as i remember so i'm going to make it right aligned if my image is on the left hand side so that's why i'm going to make it if image is on the left image is on the left then cross axis alignment will be cross axis alignment will be at the end otherwise it will be cross axis alignment at start perfect so this is done and then i'm going to have some children text s1 dot to uppercase uh because you can see it is uppercase so dot to uppercase then i'll have some styling text style it will have color colors dot gray dot shade 400 and it will have font size so font size was uh, 16 and i'll have uh, yeah this is all good okay so i have taken font family by mistake so it is font size perfect so this looks good so this was my first text and after that i'll have some sized box for the spacing so sized box will have a height of 10 and then i am going to have another text another text so let me just copy this text and with the size box and it will be so it will be s2 and after that after s2 i am going to yeah again text align so uh, i am going to give it text align so text align will be uh, text align dot uh, left for image uh, like left it should be uh, text align dot right so it should be text align uh, okay so this should be question mark text align dot right otherwise text align dot left yes this is good and for the text style it should be with respect to width so font size will not be a static value it will be w upon 20 uh and it should be bold also so font weight dot bold font weight will be font weight dot bold finally this is done and now i am going to have the third text so after this i am going to have my third text so uh yes this looks good let me remove the sized box and the third text will be s3 uh and it should not be upper case so i am going to remove this perfect and the font size let me just see uh it it kind of same only so this is all good and yes i am going to have text align perfect and yes so let me just save it and let's see what we get till now So for this I need to go and create one file called container 3 dot dart and let me just copy everything from container 1 put inside container 3 Yes so this is good and for the mobile we have not created yet so for this part i am going to remove everything so yes i am ready with the the container 3 dot dart and you can see that i have returned a common container and it is having the first text second text the third text image illustration 1 so if you want to see what is illustration 1 let me just go and you can see that i already imported all the image files over here and yes and image left is false because you know that for this part image is on the right not at the left right so let me just make container 4 and container 5 for the desktop container and let me just get back to you so now you can see that i am ready with container 3 container 4 and container 5 so let me just call all these containers in home dot dart and so after this i am going to write container 3 then container 5. Four and container five. Let's just save it and let's see what we get. Okay, so we are not getting anything. 
लेट मी जस्ट रिफ्रेश एवरीथिंग येस सो यू कैन सी दैट आफ्टर दिस आई एम गेटिंग ओके सो आई डो नॉट चेंज द कलर ऑफ दिस सो लेट मी जस्ट डू इट एंड लेट मी जस्ट डू इट सो इन कॉमन कंटेनर फॉर टेक्स नंबर टू आई एम गोइंग टू मेक कलर्स डॉट ब्लैक एंड यू ऑल्सो सॉ दैट द हाइट ऑफ दिस टेक्स वॉज सो मच सो आई एम गोइंग टू मेक हाइट एज वन सो लेट मी जस्ट सेव इट ओके सो येस इट लुक्स गुड एंड हाइट इज सो मच लेस नाउ फॉर दिस टेक्स सो आई एम टू मेक इट हाइट एज वन पॉइंट वन सो लेट्स चेक नाउ येस इट लुक्स रियली गुड नाउ वी आर मिसिंग ओनली वन थिंग दैट इज दिस बटन दिस टेक्स्ट काइंड ऑफ बटन सो लेट मी जस्ट ड्रॉ एंड गेट बैक टू यू सो आई हैव कॉपीड द कोड एंड नाउ आई एम गोइंग इन साइड कॉमन कंटेनर एंड आफ्टर दिस टेक्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू पेस्ट दैट टेक्स्ट बटन so you saw that this is text button dot icon after the size box of height 20 i have given on press as nothing icon will be arrow forward ios and app colors let me just import app colors and it will be orange color label will be learn more and everything is good and one more error is there in our code let me just save this first and yes let's see if we get a learn more icon yes it doesn't look that similar you can download that same icon from figma and put it over here in a row that's totally up to you and yes we are not getting the vector images for the place where we are having image left as false right because we have not done it so we are showing that if image left is true then show an image but what about image right so that's why i am going to copy the same container so let me just copy the same container expand it and over here after this expanded that means after this thing i am again going to put the opposite equation opposite uh, condition image left so that means if image is right so if image is right then again show the same thing so same thing otherwise show a container yes so now we are just ready let me just go back and let me show you the output yes it looks really really good right you can see all these three images are over here right that's perfect but this thing is not mobile responsive that we are going to cover in the next video so till next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot guys